know the issues are clean man and if you have followed me uh, can't speak english can't be claiming stuff like that yeah they're not leather what would you call this i have to make sure there's no lipstick on my teeth okay i'm starting for realsies now hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so as promised i told you guys that i would be doing a shoe like try on haul just to show you guys what i have in my cupboard i've got quite a lot of shoes so i'm not gonna do like a whole chatty business about every single one of them but i will be chatting about the ones that i that are kind of like new ones that i really enjoy wearing and um, then I'll just show you guys the rest of them. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about are these strappy heels. You guys have seen me speak about these in previous videos. And if you follow me on Instagram, I've worn these so many times. So it's these cute like kitten heels that I got from Studio W in Woolworths. So I got these I think like in December. I still wore them on Christmas and that was actually I think one of the first times I wore them. But they are so cute. They go, go with like everything. Jeans, dresses, skirts. But they just like add like a nice like girly touch to the outfit. And I love this strap up detail. Just very simple, very cute. And I love this like toe detail over here you know what's actually funny this heel height i used to make so much fun of this heel height when i was like 20 19 20 i was like this heel height was something that i would make fun of like if a, a lecturer had a heel on like this i would make so much fun of it because i was like why would you wear that like either like wear a flat shoe or wear like a super high heel don't come in here with your kitties now look at me Another pair of shoes that I've really been liking, but obviously I didn't get like much of a chance to wear it because I only got them like in Jan, I think. I think it was Jan. And it's these cute wedges from Aldo. I got these at the store in the waterfront, but I'm sure they have them at, like at all different Aldos or they had them. I'm not sure if they do anymore. I highly doubt it. But yeah, these are cute wedges. I really like this, like, what would you even call this? And there's like a cork detailing as well, which is really cute. I like that a lot. The thing that I like about it most is that it's brown and white. That's like the perfect colors for me when it comes to shoes. I always just wear white shoes, brown and black. Um, not really much of like a color person when it comes to shoes. But yeah, super cute to wear with jumpsuits, dresses. Um, obviously, it's for summer, so... That's what I wore these with. And I think I shot in these as well. Um, so I'll insert a picture for you guys to see as well. Um, but yeah, super simple. Very cute. Too. The next one I have is another white shoe. And it's this one from Edgar's under the brand Calso. So I saw these and I was like, like from the front, I was like, oh my word, that is such a sexy shoe. Like the whole perspect just the thin strap and obviously it's like a square toe love that because the square toe is really like trendy as well and then we get the side <laughs> so when i saw these i was like mm, like this kitten wedge really just killed it for me but i was like you know what i'm gonna make it work um and i've gotten so many compliments on the shoe as well especially when i've worn them you can wear them with jeans like i think i like them most with jeans um, it just adds like a, a very like elegant kind of touch to it. I also, once again, I highly doubt that any of the shoes that I'm going to be showing you is going to be in stock unless it's like boots and stuff. But yeah, these are definitely not in store anymore. I'll see if I can link things in the description box that's kind of like similar. So the next pair of heels that I have are these cute nude um, heels that I got from Forever New. So these are very special to me because the first time that I went to Durban and with a brand Forever New, um, this was the shoe that I wore and I, I felt like it was just so like special and they are extremely comfortable. This shoe is one of the most comfortable heels that I have. I think it's because of this like solid block heel um, that's not too high 
and it's also got cushioning and stuff on the inside of the shoe i just want to add that i really like this the strap detail that it's not like straight it's like at an angle so the next pair of shoes that i have is a pair of wedges if you've been following me for a while like two years now maybe then you would have definitely seen these shoes this wedge is the wedge that i wore on my wedding day so it's a stunning steve madden wedge and they bring this kind of style out like almost every year i think um the whole like wedge espadrille kind of vibe and then they have like this gorgeous diamante so for my wedding i remember i wanted <laughs> i wanted to wear something with this diamante but i wanted it to be like basically like a kitten block heel so just as a reference this is the kind of style i'm talking about <laughs> such a coincidence because this is also a a heel that i have from steve madden guys i know this looks like proper tiny vibes but this is honestly one of my favorite shoes ever <laughs> But um, that's not the point. You see the style? I'll talk about the shoe now, now, but picture this, but like with diamante and it's like blush. When I showed them the shoe, everyone was like, no, this is so ugly. <laughs> like my mom was also telling me, she's like, no, Paula, like you need something that's like elegant. And also because I'm short, like my wedding dress just wasn't going to look right if I wore like something very like short. So um, I saw these in Steve Madden and I was like, oh my word, like those are stunning because I wanted something that was comfortable aka the wedge it still has the diamante like look at that sparkle so yeah that's the shoe that i wore on our wedding day so these are a pair of kitten block heels that everybody asks me about oh my word matching literally look at these they match my eyeshadow they <laughs> match my jersey <laughs> so these are a lilac kitten um block heel from forever new and they are one of my favorite favorite shoes it's got a very soft like cushion um padding and then it's like very strappy which i love and again that toe detail which i also really love my foot i have a very like slim narrow foot so sometimes um shoes can look a little bit funny if there's no like if it's just like a strap it can look a little bit funny like my toes can look like fingers no jokes and then the last one that i want to talk about is this one that i just showed you um these are just leather block sandals from steve madden it's one of my favorite shoes ever to wear in summer wear them with dresses with one of my favorite shoes honestly super comfortable i don't know if they still have these anymore but i know they bring them back in similar styles like basically every year steve madden does that i've noticed where they bring back the same style every year just like with a little bit of a tweak yeah i know proper tiny vibes but love the shoe so much <laughs> so next up let's talk about boots oh love boots i am such a big like boot fan and I'm so glad that we're heading into the colder seasons now and once lockdown has kind of like subsided and we are allowed to roam around again. I can't wait to wear like boots with like jeans and oh, can't wait. Okay, let's just get into this. So one of my newest additions is this Call It Spring boot. It's like a um, latex kind of vibe um not for everybody i know it's not everyone's cup of tea and i think that's why i did that campaign with them because um well with we'll call it spring on this boot is because a lot of people don't know how to style this kind of latex fabric for me it's super versatile like because of the color the the material doesn't bother me that much so yeah i i like to wear this with like jeans i think like especially now with winter coming up i'm definitely gonna wear them with like 
a nice pair of jeans, a black jersey, a nice scarf. Mm -hmm. And I like the, um, the height of the heel and how thick it is. Boots like this, like definitely up my alley just because it's so comfortable and there's like guarantee of not falling. I can't deal with boots that have like tiny little stiletto heels, like it just doesn't make sense. I haven't really worn it like at all, to be honest. So can't really say much about it for now, but you'll definitely see more of it on Instagram. <laughs> This boot is from Zoom. I think this was like two winters ago. Such a stunning boot, super comfortable. So this is a sock boot that's kind of like a suede material. But as far as I know, this is not leather, like a suede leather, but it's very comfortable, very good quality. And my favorite part about it is obviously this detail on the heel. I just find that to be so like, it's just so stunning. I mean the boot, if it didn't have that gold detail, I would definitely still rock this boot, but I love that. Another sock boot. So we have this one, this is from Bellini. Um, I actually got this off of either Zando or Superbulous, but like a while ago, like probably three years ago. This is one of my favorite boots to wear in winter. It's also like that suede material that I just showed you previously. And this is basically the same like that black one, except it's gray and it's not from the same brand. And it's picking up more of like a, like a beige color I see on camera, but in person it's just pure gray. Very good fabric as well. I don't know why, but I got, it says this is a size six. I'm a size four and a five. I don't know what's going on here, but they fit perfectly, so. I don't know. Another one of my faves is this one. This is such a solid boot. So this one is from Spitz. I think it was in 2017 that I got this one. So this one is a leather boot with a wooden heel. I remember seeing this, this boot on Twiggy and I was like, I have to get that boot. And at the time I was actually working with Spitz so I could choose footwear that I wanted and I chose the boot that I saw because I was like oh this is stunning so I love that it's already got like quite a lot of character you can see there's creases in the boot but that's what I love about this leather is that it like it changes over time and I also like that it's got this round toe as well it's not like a square it's not pointy it's just round which I find quite flattering for my my foot as well next up we have this long boot if you guys follow me on instagram you may have seen this boot i featured it recently from call it spring so this is a over the knee boot it's quite difficult to show on camera because it's so long but this is just a cute scrunched up like almost like it's called a slouchy boot very versatile super comfortable i haven't worn it out yet i just wore it for like like that campaign um, so I'm so keen to wear this in winter with like oh, black jeans and like a chunky knit like this kind of vibe. Basically what I wore in my post of this campaign. Purple jersey and a black jeans with this boot. I like the heels, the heel height and I also like the like pointy toe. It's also quite cute. Next is this military boot that I got from Superbulous. One of my favorite boots ever such a good purchase oh i was so happy when i got this boot when it finally arrived i'm yet to change the laces i keep telling myself that i want to change the laces but this winter i'm definitely going to be doing that because red does not go with everything probably going to be on my feet all the time in winter um, i must admit it is quite heavy but i love it i love how it's like almost like a biker kind of feel um, I'll definitely link this down below because I know so many of you guys ask me about this boot whenever I wear it like in winter and then the latest edition which has not even been worn shame it's only been shot for a campaign with the same outfit and I haven't even posted it yet because my campaign was postponed <laughs> so you guys haven't seen this on my social media at all but this is my latest edition from Madden Girl, which is kind of like the like sister brand of Steve Madden. Um, you can find them at Foschini. If you guys are interested in this boot, this will definitely still be in stores because they haven't even launched it yet. It's like a biker girl kind of vibe. It reminds me a lot of like Jeffrey Campbell kind of vibe. It's the 
white Telvet Jay Free Cam Ball, if I can tell you that as well. So yeah, I can't tell you guys if this is comfortable. I, I've worn it once for a shoot and that was the end of it. But I'm so excited to wear this in winter. I have like this leather pants that I want to wear with it. It's like a leather jigging and I have this black jeans and a black leather slacks that's gonna go so nicely with this. I can't wait. So for the rest of this video I'm just gonna be showing you guys a little bit of like a cutaway situation now. Um, it's just shoes that I have but I don't really want to talk about that much. There's nothing really to say about them. They're shoes that I have had for quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Yeah.